Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Rebel Free. In today's video, I'm going to explain you about the concept of queue learning. Queue learning, as we already discussed in the previous video of reinforcement uh, learning, it is an example. Okay, this queue learning is an example for reinforcement learning algorithm. You know what reinforcement learning is, right? We have different types like we have supervised, we have unsupervised algorithms, we have reinforcement algorithms and machine learning. So in that for reinforcement algorithm, we have two examples, the queue learning and the uh, temporal difference, right? Q here, what do you mean by this Q? Q stands for quality, okay? So before going in depth into the video, let me tell you something. If you are having your exam schedule nearby, just let me know the date of your exam along with your college name so that I can make videos by your exam time. And also if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe and also hit the bell icon done so let's move into the video now so before understanding the queue learning uh, uh, you know in queue learning queue means quality as i already said so before understanding this i'll give you a small example okay so you are having a maze you are playing a maze game okay some mouse uh, we has to reach the cheese or you know some game in the newspaper also we will be seeing right in the kids column it a maze will be there like some messy maze will be there from here again the here path will be path break will be there you need to something something some maze will be there right here the source will be there and here the destination will be there you need to reach from the source to the destination uh, without uh, being stuck anywhere right so uh, what is your ultimate goal in that maze game your ultimate goal is to reach from source to destination right not only reaching from source to destination you should also go from source to destination in the optimal path and also in the minimum time right when you are having a competition with the opponent right then in that case you need to make it faster when you need to make it uh, you need to have the optimal distance right so here uh, while understanding queue learning uh, you need to remember this example first and the next thing is we have some terms in order to understand what queue learning is actually okay so let us understand those terms first the first thing is the policy the policy is nothing but it is a combination of both uh, state and action s stands for state and a stands for action okay and here t stands for time so state at that particular time s means state a means action and t means time so state at that particular time action at that particular time okay so here in policy what we do is we define some rules and limit some rules and regulations we will be um, uh, defining okay whenever you take a policy like a, a life insurance policy or any policy you take now uh, you'll have some um, you know rules and regulations uh, you know some deadlines timelines everything will be there in that right so in the same way we will be defining a policy which is nothing but it is a set of actions and rules which is defined as q power pi st comma at which is a set of combination of both uh, state and actions at that particular time okay it has some rules and this policy will be undertaken by the agent agent is nothing but the person who is performing the task it may be a, not only a person it can be a machine it can be a bot it, or it can be anything who is learning anybody who is learning or anybody who is uh, you know yeah who is uh, learning through the machine learning algorithm is the agent okay so this policy will be undertaken by the agent that is whatever rules and regulations we have defined in this policy the agent has to bind to them so, okay the agent has to abide by them the agent has to follow them okay done so he will observe the given state and selects the possible action so what is the uh, relationship between the uh, states and actions is um, you'll be understanding that better when I explain about the queue table okay that you'll have some states and you'll have some actions so in which state which action you have to take suppose uh, you are in a uh, you are in a stage where you have to get you know you ha yeah yeah let us take a, an example of uh, six uh, sorry cricket game uh, where you have to uh, in the last you have one ball and you have to score six runs in that case what is your state one ball and six runs is your state and what is the action you have to do in order to win the game you need to hit a boundary you need to hit a six then right so that is what your action your state is you are in a state of hitting six runs and your action is to hit the six runs uh, you know hit the boundary in order to win the game right so that is the relationship between the state and action done uh, so uh, an example i'll tell you when the road is empty what you will do you will drive speedily right so that is the correct thing that you have to do so whenever the road is crowdy you will drive slowly right so whenever the ro road is crowdy you're not supposed to drive fastly actually so that is the reason why you go for slow driving 
right so this is uh, what policy means the set of rules and regulations come under policy okay and after policy we have the second thing is the reward so what do you mean by reward and when do you get reward you know what reward is right reward award appreciation and all when you will get reward whenever you do correct action whenever you do a right action you will be getting the reward okay for example in the maze game you're playing and you make a correct path instead of going and hitting a wall you make a correct path where you have a way to go then in that case you do the correct action then in that case you will get a reward if you're going and hitting the wall then what happens that is a wrong action right you will not get reward then you will get a negative reward okay so i'll tell you what negative reward is a re reward is actually and this reward is a scalar quantity okay what do you mean by scalar quantity is um only magnitude you will be measuring you know that right what scalar is and what vector is you will be measuring only magnitude now the third term that we are going to learn is the penalty so penalty is nothing but it is commonly uh, whenever you do a wrong action okay whenever you do a correct action you are going to get a reward right so whenever you are doing a wrong action you <coughs> i'm sorry you're going to get a penalty okay and this penalty is also commonly called called as a negative reward okay instead of using the word penalty all the times sometimes we will be using the word negative reward also okay you don't get confused now uh, now uh, what is the uh, example for this penalty when you're parking in a your bike or your car your vehicle in a no parking zone in the no parking zone you're actually not supposed to park your vehicle right but you're going and parking then that is a wrong action that you're doing so for that you need to pay some fine that is your penalty that is your negative reward okay instead of giving you money they are taking money from you right so that is your negative reward okay so those were the three terms that you have to learn prior to uh, learning what q learning is what were they the first one was action sorry uh, reward sorry policy reward and penalty right the three terms now let us go into the main concept of q learning so basically in order to understand q learning uh, so if you are asked to, uh, asked to write about q learning for 10 marks answer if you are getting uh, explain those terms also but instead of 10 marks you are getting it for a short answer then this would be enough for that okay so q learning mainly depends on two factors what are those number one is the q function and the other is the q table q function and q table okay what is q function what is q table i'll tell you now so first what do you mean by q function is that you will be defining a function okay uh, so the function is like that q power um, pi as t comma at which is nothing but the generalized representation of policy actually is equal to e r t plus 1 plus gamma r t plus 2 and so on r power uh, sorry gamma power n r t plus n by s t comma a t now don't get confused on seeing this uh, actually this equation is called as a bellman equation okay this entire equation is called as a bellman equation and this what r is uh, you might have understood by now what r is r is the reward r stands for reward okay done and what is the other term we have which we don't know we know what s is a state you know what a is action you know what t is time then what do you mean by this gamma this gamma is the discount factor okay discount factor done so r stands for reward and gamma stands uh, stands for discount factor these are the two unknown terms you have and this other the rest terms you know since you know understood what state is what action is what t is and all what policy is and all right so this is the q function as i already said you will have two things one is q function and the other is q table i under, i explained you what q function is the simple equation q function is defined like this what do you mean by q table then so q table is nothing but it is a combination of both actions and states so uh, you'll have actions and states in the uh, rows and columns in that way you define the q table okay uh, for example in a game where you have different options like in a game you're playing a game and in that game you can go in upward direction and downward direction to your left side and to your right side okay these are the options that you have in a game okay now you will be and uh, yeah so these are what this up down and all what these are your actions that you can take right yeah yeah here i have written up down right left all these are the actions that you are you can take and you are in the state where you start state the end game the end you know game over state the reward health and all you have different states and according to these states you need to take the corresponding action okay so now you will be defining a table which is a combination of both these actions and states and i'll show you how the table goes on um so this is the table okay like this you will be defining a table and initially you will be assigning all wa values to zero and gradually you will be keep uh, you you know you will be changing the values as you uh, make that uh, depending on the q function you will be changing the values but initially all the values are assigned to zero itself okay done so this is about the q 
table q function and q table are the two main components are in the uh, two factors that the two main things you have in q learning now how the process of q learning actually goes on let us try to understand that now okay uh, so when you are doing the process of q learning what are the different steps that you have that you follow first you will be doing the exploration part so what do you mean by exploration you will be exploring all the possible paths explore exploring is nothing but what you will be finding out you will be finding all the possible paths that you have that is the first step exploration now once you are done with the task of finding all the possible paths the second thing that you need to do is exploitation right in exploitation what you have to do is you need to remove all the unwanted paths or the redundant paths or the duplicate paths or whatever it is uh unrelevant what do you what you don't want you need to remove all of them and from that you need to select a best possible path okay so from that you need to select a best possible path then so this is the second step exploitation in the third step what you will do you will be initializing the q table initializing the q table in the sense what you will be initializing all the values to the zero initially right as i already said initially all the values are set to zero in the q table so you will be initializing the q table and the fourth step what you will do you will be choosing a particular action so here what are the different actions you have you have up down right left right so from these four actions or depending on the situation i am i'm um, explaining with relevant to that game situation from that four you will be selecting anything done so the fourth step is to select the action once you select the action or once you choose the action the next say um, the next step is to perform the action that is you need to implement the action that you have uh choose that you have selected right so once you're done with the implementation part also you need to measure the reward so on performing that action what is the reward that you have gained you gained you got a positive reward or you got a negative reward that is nothing but the penalty you need to measure the reward and depending on the reward you need to update the q table okay so by taking so and so action we got a reward we got a positive reward so that is the reason why we can consider this so that is the reason why we can go in this path so you need to update the q table why you have to update the q table initially all the values are zero right so you need to keep on updating it as, uh, as you choose the action and you implement that action okay done so this is how the q learning uh, process goes on in q learning you actually have Uh, what you have to know, understand what policy is what reward is and what action is and you have two factors two important factors on which you determine the q learning you have to learn you have to know what q function is you need to know what q table is and these are the steps that you follow in the q learning okay done so that's all for this video i hope this video is helpful for you and in the next video i'll be explaining about the temporal uh, learning you know temporal uh, difference algorithm so till then stay tuned to my channel and uh, if you are still having any doubts apart from what i've explained in this video just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure and thanks for watching the video till the end thanks for your patience towards the video let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic